Oh, no. It wasn't the airplanes. It was beauty killed the beast. Beauty. Marriage is like an unfunny, tense version of Everybody Loves Raymond. I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. And we are back with another episode of the most quotable movies of all time. And uh, you guys voted the one that starts with the letter K that won by a landslide was the Karate Kid. So that's what we're doing. The top five. All points. Right. Mr. Miyagi made it, baby. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of him on here for sure. Yeah, I mean, Miyagi, like, you know, had all the great quotes yeah he makes the movie i mean honestly without him and i don't see i didn't really watch it but you know the show that they made years later that came out recently i don't really see how it was a huge success because without miyagi i mean what, who cares yeah i know and actually <laughs> i think they're doing another remake of it oh yeah yeah that's right they did remakes of the movie too i forgot but um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think they're, doing, I don't Pat, think they're doing another one now. Yeah, Pat Morita was the whole thing, man. In my opinion, but uh, I know. But yeah, well, well, let's get to it. So what's? Yeah, I uh, didn't even watch. I never watched the one with the girl. Me either. Yeah. Yeah, because Miyagi wasn't there. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Daniel Larusso is an okay character too, and Johnny, the bad guy. Well, he spent. But, yeah, he spent the bill for the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then they made three of them. Right. Yeah, which the second one wasn't too bad, but uh, nothing beats the original, which I think we saw this in the theater, uh, if I'm not mistaken, when it was out. Probably yeah, one of the did. first movies I saw in the theater back in 84. Right. So, uh, yeah. yeah. And while we were watching the movie, Pop-Up I even came down and asked how we liked it so far. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, I remember it that clearly. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So it was at his theater. Okay, yeah. nice. Well, cool. Well, uh, good memory uh, there, John Stanick III. So <laughs> you want to start off at number five? All right, number five. Uh, they're, on, they're on the beach. Mm -hmm. And and uh, uh, they're, actually, I think they're coming back from being on the boat, and uh, there's uh, bottles on Miyagi's car. Yeah, and he asked them to remove it, and they wouldn't remove it. So he kar karate chops it, and then Daniel goes. <laughs> How did you do that? How did you do that? Don't know. Fast time. Yeah, I love that one. I almost put that on my list. That was more of a honorable mention, but uh, yeah, that's classic. Uh, yeah, I think, we're, like we said, we're probably going to see mostly Miyagi here. So my number five happens, I think, two different times in the movie. So I'm not sure which scene I'm going to go with <laughs> on the clip, but it's when um, they, they're they yelling back and forth to each other. Banzai, Daniel-san! Hey, Banzai! 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 <laughs> and then there was a, a place, too, where he was getting mixed up with Banzai and Banzai. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like the, the bonsai, bonsai tree. Fire. Right. Yeah, and then right. and then bonsai, like a cheer kind of yeah. thing. So yeah, I love that. Uh so what's your number four? My number four is uh not by myself. It was you. To make honey, young bee need young flower, not old prune. <laughs> I forgot all about that line. That's good. There could be like a whole book of Miyagi's yeah, advice. Yeah, I know, like you know? Miyagi sayings. Yeah, yeah. So was this in regards to him like going on a date with uh, with the girl? 
Elizabeth yeah, too. Yeah, like getting him to go out with a girl. Right, right. Yeah, and I always forget too time. that Elizabeth Shue is the love interest in the movie. Yeah, you know, there's another time too where Daniel said that Miyagi was his best friend. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good line. Okay. My number four uh, comes towards the end of the movie, the final um, bat karate battle, as it were, and um, Johnny comes off to talk to his sensei for a minute, and the sensei says. Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that? No, Sensei. No mercy. <laughs> and then you said you have a problem with that? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, right. Yeah. You got it. So, yeah. I, I like how it's a two and one because you got the no mercy thing and right. sweep the leg i think is a classic line from the movie but um so what's your number three well i felt obligated that i had to put a crease line in mm -hmm. oh that's the guy's name crease yeah yeah crease so i did uh this is when miyagi and daniel went to visit the dojo right and then crease says we do not train to be merciful here. Mercy is for the weak. Here, on the street, in competition, a man confronts you, he is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Lawrence? There you go. Yeah, that, uh, that's even better, actually, as far as the no mercy line. Well, that's line. how I got my no mercy line. <laughs> yeah, 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 you got to have a no mercy in there somewhere. Uh, excellent. Okay. Uh, so... My number three is a scene where Daniel asks uh, Miyagi, what kind of belt do you have? Daniel-san. What? Karate here. Karate here. Karate never here. You understand? Uh, yeah, I thought that was a good one, too. Yeah, another great Miyagi uh, saying thing. Right, right. Okay, so what's your two? So, uh, Daniel's on the boat. Mm -hmm. And he's, like, practicing all his, like, things, right? And then uh, he says, What am I going to learn how to punch? Learn how to punch. Learn how to keep trying. No! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. Good, good moment and good line. And yeah, the whole thing with Daniel always thinking that, uh, you know, he's behind the curve when actually he's being taught right. all along. Yeah. Uh, very nice. So, okay. So my number two is, might seem like a random one, but I think it's a quote that um, a lot of people, at least from my generation, say a lot. <laughs> But also in the final fight, there's one of the side characters from uh, the dojo that uh, Johnny, I guess, hits him, uh, hits him hard or whatever, and the kid goes. Get him a body bag! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I just the way he says it, especially. Uh, I, I just think it's hilarious. So um, I had to have it high up. So, uh, so we may have the same number one since we've had none in common so far. Well, I know I did. this to me is the classic. Yeah. So I, it's wax on right hand, wax off left hand, wax on, wax off. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. Wax on, wax off. Don't forget to breathe. Very important. As he's just like walking away and Daniel's like, what? <laughs> and uh, and thinking he's like just being yeah, used then, for labor. And he had him do, you know, the sand thing. Yeah. And then, you know, paint the fat. The no, right. you know, loosen the wrist. You know, he's got, not yeah. like that. You yeah. Know, like yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's so great. But it's also classic when, uh, you know, Daniel eventually just complains like he's not learning anything. And then he says, again, show me wax on. And then he shows him that it was for defensive moves right. the whole time. 
and it's like an amazing scene really yeah it is. so and yeah it is the crux of the movie so that also was my number one the wax on yeah, wax it has to be of course i mean it's the thing everybody remembers right of you course know, you don't remember anything about the movie that's the thing you remember yeah for sure so okay very good obviously that's the number one so uh Number two, it's between the um, the boat scene and get him in a body bag. <laughs> uh, I would say get him in a body bag has lived on more. We'll put that at two and the boat at three. And so then number fours and five is going to be between the what kind of belt do you have and the uh, the no mercy. I think no mercy's got to be at four. Get crease in there, and then number five, the what kind of belt do you have? This is a damn good list. We kind of it hit hit everything. Good. Yeah, for not having any in common except number one. Yeah. Well, yeah, and bonsai is not really like. I mean, that's cool, but it doesn't have to make. Yeah, the list. I know more of an honorable mention kind of thing all right very good any other honorable mentions that you wanted to throw out there well i mean there's one where uh when daniel first comes in and he sees all the cars and he goes hey where did all those old cars come from yeah and miyagi goes detroit <laughs> right yeah that's, yeah, that was a like good line all the yeah. all these one-liners that he had yeah excellent well, uh, very good. All right. Well, yeah, I didn't have any others I wanted to mention. So without further ado, here are the top five Karate Kid quotes according to three and four right now. Daniel san. What? Karate here. Karate here. Karate never here. You understand? We do not train to be merciful here. Mercy is for the weak. Here on the street, in competition, a man confronts you, he is the enemy. An enemy deserves no mercy. What is the problem, Mr. Lawrence? <laughs> what am I going out of punch? Learn how to punch. And learn how to keep trying. No! <laughs> Get him a body bag! Yeah! Right. Wax on, right hand. Wax off. Left hand, wax on, wax off, breathe, in through nose, out the mouth, wax on, wax off, don't forget to breathe, very important. Yeah, so awesome, another great episode, and now we have to pick the options for the movie starting with the letter L, this should be very interesting, so... I will start us off uh, at my number four, probably not one that you'll have, but um, Legends of the Fall. No, I do not have that one. That's got some member. I, I'm sure this won't get make the list, but it's got some great Anthony Hopkins lines that I yeah, still quote I to this know. day. I found that movie to be boring. Really? Yeah. It is like it was, a, long, it was like really, really long. It is long, but I I would have thought you would have liked it from a historical standpoint. But then again, it's really more of a melodrama when you look yeah. at it. So I get you. So what's your number four? Oh, uh, lean on me. Ooh, good pick. Yeah, I did not pick that one. A lot of good Morgan Freeman lines there. Uh, okay, so my number three is one that you might have, Lethal Weapon 2. Yeah, th my number three is Lethal Weapon. I didn't pick one. You picked one instead of two? No, I, I just did Lethal Weapon in general. I didn't, ah, okay. I didn't pick a one, two, three, or a four. Well, I, I think Actually, if we... Actually, I like three more than I like two. Because I think three had Rene Russo in it also. True, but I think two has the best quotes as far as Joe Pesci, which is the best of, well, of all Pe of them. Pesci would, in three was a car salesman or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
but two has the whole drive through bit. Oh, I and know. Which is so, right. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. all right, we'll we'll just we'll get to that. All right, so that's your three, also. Okay. So what? Uh, so my two is the Lost Boys. <laughs> Gotta love it. The most quotable vampire movie of all time, in my opinion. I know it's your all-time favorite vampire movie. That's right. Don't mess with teenage vampires, man. I know, like all those stars that were in it. Well, yeah. when they really weren't stars when they were in it. They became stars. Much yeah, later. many of them child stars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this might uh, might have been the pinnacle of some of their careers, but uh, but yeah. So, what's your number two? Little Falkers. Ah, that's a good choice. I did not think of that. All right. Um, yeah, because that has, well, that would have everybody, right? That was the third one of that series? Because yeah, Meet the so. Fockers was the second one, right? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So my number one is The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. Who? What? <laughs> it's a Wes Anderson movie, of course, <laughs> with Bill Murray as the main character. He's Steve Zissou, the jacques cousteau kind of explorer have you haven't seen this movie no i have not oh my god you gotta see this one if you torture me with a harry potter movie or something i have to torture you back with no that. no you've got three harry potter movies. oh my god help me okay so what's your number one <laughs> the league of the Rock. okay that I did not even think of either, but that's a good one. And that that could win the popular vote. We'll have to see. I'm surprised that you didn't go with uh, Lord of the Rings, colon, like all, all three of them on uh, different spots on your list. Actually, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's number six on my list. Really? Yeah, Lord of the Rings, The Return it of the King. Okay. I, I'm shocked that you didn't have that higher on to get that in there. Well, I figured I thought there was better, you know, movies that had better quotes. Unreal. Because this is that's one of your favorite movies just of all time, right? Yeah. Wow. A shocker yeah. here. At, at, yeah. So, uh, so my yeah. number five was Life of Brian. Mm. That's a good and one, number too. Number six was The Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. And then my last one was The Last Detail. Oh, that's Oh, man. I wish I thought of that one, too. Some great <laughs> Nicholson lines. Okay. Yeah, L had a lot of stuff. But, uh, okay. So out of, out of this, we've got a League of Their Own, Life Aquatic. Uh, I guess... Lethal Weapon won't make it because uh, that was both of our threes. So Lost Boys and Little Fockers. Unless you want to take one of those out and put Lethal Weapon. But I think for the sake of staying consistent, I guess we'll leave it off. So, uh, so these are your four options. A League of Their Own, The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, The Lost Boys, and little Fockers. This should be very interesting. Uh, I don't see anything winning by a landslide on this one, but I, I kind of hope it's the Lost Boys, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you do with your plug again? <laughs> so everyone, uh, you know, you know what to vote for. So we'll see you on the next one. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you're, you didn't say these are the four. But do a write-in vote for Lethal Weapon 2. <laughs> yeah, hey, you can do that too, technically. But uh, all right, we'll see you then. Love you. Love you too. All right, bye. Bye.